A multi-day manhunt over the 24-year-old accused of shooting two Baltimore County police officers now in custody facing numerous charges. Hello everybody, I'm Denise Koch. And I'm Nikki Z. Zaza. The search for David Linthicum began Wednesday in Cockeysville. And WJZ has been on top of every development for you since then. Wednesday, people near Linthicum's home on Powers Avenue were told to shelter in place. Last night, officers began zeroing in on the suspect, and that is when he is accused of shooting a detective, taking off in his patrol car, bailing out near Falston Village Center in Hartford County, where he was eventually taken into custody early this morning. We have live team coverage tonight. Paul Gessler speaks to neighbors who were on edge for days. But well, we begin with WJZ investigator Mike Helgren in Falston with the charges and what is next. Mike. Denise, Nikki, some frightening moments overnight and early this morning here, but it all ended peacefully near here. You can see some of the tire tracks from one of the police vehicles here behind me. Now, David Linthicum is facing multiple felony charges. He had a court appearance early this morning. He is in custody right now. He has another court appearance Monday afternoon. Neighbors in Falston watched a tense eight hour standoff unfold in their backyards, ending peacefully just before six o'clock this morning with the capture of David Linthicum. This is his booking photo. He bailed out of the car somewhere over there? Yeah, back in the far part of the woods, and he just started trekking. Alan Franti showed us the spot where Linthicum was hiding in the woods near a rock behind his home. And when they made their move on him, they all put their lights on and they all came out. So it was, it was fascinating. Well, ain't that some? Another neighbor, Kevin Schwanebeck, watched from his window as police swarmed the neighborhood. He says police commandeered his sports cars. They just said pretty much, we need your vehicles. We can't let them stay here. Um, they might have wanted to take him off in order to, like, you know, secure that he wouldn't have any ways of escape because, you know, those, those things are decently quick. Linthicum now faces felony charges, including attempted first degree murder for shooting two police officers. The first in Cockeysville Wednesday afternoon while responding to a call that Linthicum was suicidal. And the second officer was shot multiple times nearby last night. Linthicum then took his patrol vehicle and fled to Harford County. Police used spike strips to stop him. That's when Linthicum ran and hid in the woods for hours before Harford County officers took him into custody. Our deputies used multiple less lethal tactics to try to encourage him to surrender. Uh, as I said, he was hunkered down in the woods, and that made it difficult. But at uh, a point in the closing hours, we were able to establish some communication with him. The officer injured last night remains at shock trauma and has a long road to recovery ahead. The governor and county executive visited his bedside today. Now, Sheriff Gaylor says that Linthicum did resist a little bit when he was put into handcuffs, and he was actually joking with officers about the flashbangs, saying he liked fireworks. Our live team coverage continues with Paul Gessler, and this all started about 18 miles from where I'm standing in Cockeysville. Paul, you've been gathering reaction there. What are people saying? That's right, Mike. These two shooting scenes here in Cockeysville are separated by a little over a mile. N uh, police say Linthicum shot that Baltimore County detective just down the road from here at the, near the corner of Warren and Bosley. Neighbors described countless police and SWAT vehicles in a very tense few days. Calm is restored Friday in Cockeysville. I'm happy it's over. The manhunt is over. Luckily it's over and yeah, it's a beautiful day. For more than 38 hours, David Linthicum was at large. It was a, a time to be cautious, to be afraid. 38 hours of panic. Scary, very scary. I mean, it was just a you know, sense of danger, I guess. 38 hours of fear. Yeah, it was pretty intense, yeah. Of uncertainty. It was unusual. It was, uh, I would say, really frightening to think that maybe we could open the front door and he would be there. Yeah. Susan Henderson was among the many in the area to receive automated messages to stay inside. People near and in the surrounding area should shelter inside and stay out of sight with doors locked for safety. People couldn't get in their houses. People had to stay in their houses. We had to stay in the house for a day and a half. Mike Unger lives just up the street from where a county detective was shot. Cop cars everywhere. There was helicopters nonstop. I was worrying about the 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 police pretty much. Like uh, I mean, especially after I heard the detective was shot and all that uh, last night. Early Friday, police apprehended Linthicum more than 12 miles away in Falston. Came in alive. That's insane. It's rare. I credit the police with that because it could have been just the opposite. The attention now turns to the two injured officers.
I hope uh, he, he gets his justice and uh, that the, the, the detective is okay. Back live in Cockeysville now, all Baltimore County schools were open today, including the handful of schools that were closed Thursday when Linthicum was still at large. For now, reporting live in Cockeysville, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.